So during a deep dive that you were teaching, you used... It's called the Sex 10X Deep Dive, Kathy. I just oh. used the full title. I don't say Kathy from the intimacy. I say Kathy from the intimacy dojo.com. Read Mahaka from readaboutsex.com. Um, you were talking about using your forearms as an extra set of hands. And I think that's... I love it when people do that, mm -hmm. and I wanted to have you share that with people, our, our viewers, our you intrepid mean, viewers. You mean like using it like this? They can't see. Oh, you're going to spill coffee. Like over. extra set of hands like that? During sex, I think, is what we were talking about. We're so drinking coffee during sex? What? It was a sex tenic steep dive, and you were talking about using your forearms as an extra set Show of hands. Show me. I don't remember, Kathy. <laughs> see if Kathy remembers the lesson. <laughs> so a lot of people, they're using their hands <clears throat> in their mm -hmm. mouth, yep. but they're not using their whole body. They're okay. using. They can use their forearms to like add pressure and mm -hmm. and to create connection mm -hmm. so and to use, use their body weight to lean in yeah. and, and push on people. Yeah. Why is that useful? Uh, well, one, it gives more. <laughs> You're just asking. making her teach. <laughs> teach, Kathy. Teach. You're just seeing if I paid attention. Um, no, you can use it's extra skin contact, and mm -hmm. you can actually do more. You can put more pressure in some areas that like it sometimes than just with your hands. Mm -hmm. um, and if your hands are getting tired, that's also a nice way to... And it's a different texture. It's a different yep. feeling as you go. You can get that nice long... Like if you're going over a body part that likes that, mm -hmm. watch out for bones. You don't want to put a lot of pressure like this bone against their bones. But yeah. um, It's also a way for... Um, I mean, again, like it, for some people, they can only push so hard with their hands. When you use your forearms to lean on your partner's body or to kind of pin them up against the wall... Mm -hmm. Um, the your forearms or hold their thighs apart. Yeah, or... your forearms can work really well uh, for these reasons because because creating pressure and giving your partner more contact and something they can push against will help a lot of people get into their bodies, use their pelvic floor muscles to tug on all the the good erectile fun nerve endings uh, inside your pelvis, especially when you're getting aroused. Um, and that contact can feel very connective, mm -hmm. right? Rather than if you're if you're trying to touch your lover just with the tips of your thumbs, and they're Why pushing you against you, that? it can, well, can feel very pokey, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's understanding that there's so much more and and many different ways to use your body to augment the experience. And then there's the thing of like sometimes I want to be close to my lover and touching them. Uh, but me being on top, holding plank position, you know, or in a push-up position is really difficult. And I can't kiss you from this distance. So here I can use my arms and, uh, and kind of lean into you, if that works for your body, as a way of also kind of holding myself up. Yeah. And I'm close enough to kiss. Like there's all these different things that you can do um, when you start using your forearms as a means of connecting and, and touching and caressing and pushing pressure and also to keep yourself um, erect uh, because I can create pressure on you in different ways um, and, and not have to have my full body weight on me. Right. Um, and also for people that are bigger, um, if you use your, just your forearm, you can just, if they have a belly and it's in the way of where you mm -hmm. want to go, you can just gently push, push it away with your forearm. Yeah. Um, and f you, then you have access to what you would have access to. Well, and if, if people have um, insecurities about certain things, mm -hmm. especially bellies, like we'll just use bellies as the example, um, you can, uh, using your hands to move things, for some people can feel too grabby. Yeah. And then, and then they get in their heads. Whereas you use your, your forearm to kind of push things uh, or, or um, get access to things. It feels more connective, less pokey and grabby, mm -hmm. um, and can let people relax. Uh, and if you're using your arm, I mean, this is what I make it mean, right? If I'm using more of my body, rather than, like, we, we think about hands to push things away. Yeah. But if I'm using my arm to move something, it's also closer to me. Mm -hmm. So it feels like I'm not trying to push things away. I'm trying to get to something I want. And that can be really useful to, for people to feel, oh, you want to be there. You want to be with me. Rather than you're 
trying to push things you don't want away. Yeah. It's really subtle. Maybe that's not what everybody's thinking. Um, but again, like if you're trying to have people feel like you want them or you want to be with them, um, then maybe your forearms can be really useful. Yeah. Um, if they want to learn more and come to your three day high performance relationship mastery, where would they go? High performance relationship mastery.com. Yeah. Longest title ever for uh, what's going to be a really great weekend.